here we are at the Friday Games Review. Oh, and we need to go back to the... There we are, that's hey. us. And we're act right behind us is the Building 44 Arcade here at... Uh, in beautiful Building 44 in Mountain View. Mountain View. And uh, I'm Dan Galpin, and once again with me is our intrepid world traveler. Co Kim, I'm back. It's been a while, folks. Well, yeah, how are you? Excellent. And uh, we've got a, a great set of games here today for us to look at. It includes the gravity bending block bashing breakout game that is Space Out Light, the pin toppling <laughs> transposition of shuffleboard bowling and poker that is 10 pin shuffle. <laughs> The and the lost. wannabe lost cat creation known as Meowich. Does that, does that, sound, does that sound right Meowch? to you? Meowch. 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 Yeah. Okay. So Meowch, which is an interesting take on a multi-character platform game that combines aspects of Lemmings. And then... Uh, Snappy Dragon 2, um, the sequel to the original Snappy Dragons, where you get to be a cute dragon and you get to throw fireballs at all your enemies. That's right. <laughs> it's all those pesky garden gnomes. Right? Yes. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's almost a physics game, but not quite. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's, uh, let's, let's go on to our first game, which is going to be Space Out Light. I think the viewers want to know what kind of beer you guys are drinking. Oh, very good point. Oh, good point. Yeah, so we are drinking today... Today, the, the beer... The Anchor beer. Brewing Company, Liberty Ale. There's <laughs> hold it up so you all can see it. Um, it's really nice. I, I'm a huge fan of, of Anchor in general. Mm -hmm. um, they are uh, up in San Francisco, and you can go and take a tour of the brewery. It's really fun. I've never done it, but I know a lot of people who have and have given really, really good, uh, really good mm -hmm. feedback on it. So let's take a quick look at space out the listing for Space Out Light. And normally, we always review the paid version here on the Friday Review, which often gives the best experience mm -hmm. for our viewers, but also guarantees that our and also guarantees that our developer gets one sale. Oh, um, <laughs> we, we we need to buy it afterwards. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't done it yet, but uh, we were lazy today, so here's the light version that was actually nominated. And you know, I, this I, I wanted to say this feature graphic contains a really good set of elements. It makes it clear what sort of game we're talking about. Um, you know, the, the the space out graphic itself is a good size. It'll right. be very legible if the game is featured. Mm -hmm. Um, it could be a little bit more polished looking. You know, I think that the, perhaps that the um, effect behind Space Out might be a little bit much, um, right. but it fits all of our guidelines. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, if you think about, like, like, this is the first graphic, if your game ever does get featured, that gets seen on your mobile phone. So you have to think about the screen size as well. And so it's always important to focus on the most important elements, <laughs> which is the title and yeah. also what your game is about. So yeah. I would actually do hope it would actually include a little bit more of the 3D depth because the actual game is in 3D. And yeah, so it's, it's, it's kind of strange that I'm seeing, like, a 2D 8-bit version of games. So I actually <laughs> was not expecting the game that I was playing from the feature graphic. That's true, that's true. So, yeah. It could go a little further than that. The other thing I was going to say is I love the fact the icon is not a rounded <laughs> rectangle. Um, that's that's always really really nice yes. to see. I you know I, I actually find that them. when I see a whole bunch of rounded rectangles, I just I have a harder time recognizing what the different things are. This makes it very very clear. You know the mm -hmm. icon is really distinct. It's got a di distinct shape. Really like it when people take advantage of the fact that we don't require that everything look the same. All right, so. Uh, the game itself involves changing gravity around. We can now switch to the view of the game itself. And this is going to be challenging uh, because we actually have to <laughs> manipulate the tablet, <laughs> the tablet without spilling the beer. All right. So He's doing this one-handed. It's pretty yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. Go. This, this, this is a, so first of all, um, you actually align the screen. So you can see it's going to prevent me from starting the game in a way that's just going to kill me. And this, this level is actually, it, it contains all of the nice tutorial stuff. So you can mm -hmm. see it's telling me that I can manipulate gravity. The, the higher levels actually um, get, allow you to die. This level is just really a tutorial. Um, it allows you to kind of experience right. the game. That's why I'm showing it off. I'm actually holding the tablet upside down here. Yeah, and you um, notice that's, he's actually playing the game, so. Yeah, this is one of the, one of the power ups, is this fire power up. They did a whoops. Okay, we're going to lose HDMI over here, but I'm not super, super careful. Right. Sorry, Dave. One of the glorious things that is uh, micro HDMI is that it's really not meant to be torn to spun around like this. There's, this is an explosion one, this power up. One of my one of my favorites. All really really well done. Uh, you know there is there is um, you know in, in terms of the art itself, um, some of the textures could be a little more interesting on the blocks. Um, right. They're 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 uh, they're just sweet, um, but they look just kind of like they look textures. all the same sort of like yeah. I mean there's nothing very cool about them. Yeah, I, that that would be my feeling. Right. Sort of like I, I want to see kind of cool designs in the blocks. Mm -hmm. Like got random pieces of marble and stuff like that. And we're in a cool space game. You know? Yeah. Also, like, it's the color scheme, right? Like, the problem with space, these backgrounds and all that, it's very dark. And so, I mean, I can imagine if I'm playing this in a very brightly lit area, this would probably be hard for me to see where I'm going. <laughs> a little bit. And, and the game just get hard very, very quickly. Right. Uh, here, this, this level uh, here, it's very, very easy to die. 
die. Trying to hold this together. Hope everyone right. Is because if you, because the way that you die is if you actually jump out of the block cage, bridge yes. cage. So <laughs> one of the fun car apps actually lets you split your balls, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, and that would be I'm gonna pull it. Oh, I just didn't know that no. that's the one I wanted. No. Okay, now let's see if I can do this without dying. All right, made it to the other side. Let's see if I can actually get through a full oh, level well. of the game for you all. Uh, so, oh, is that the tutorial level? Ah, oh, oh, there you are, dual balls. Because truly, Dan is a, is a big gamer, and like this should be easy, right? Uh, yes, yes, <laughs> exactly. Actually, I mean, this game is, is really, I, I really enjoy this game. I mean, I love this one. Oh, it's so cool. Um, and uh, yeah, no, I mean, the, the developer did a great job. Yep. I mean, I really have to congratulate them. The game is really, really fun, uh, and I had a really good time getting a chance to play it. So. Great twist on Breakout. Absolutely. Now, some other things I always like to know is here. You know, one, um, so we've got the, the sigil menu key down here at the bottom mm -hmm. of the screen, um, so, which means they're not uh, targeting the latest SDK version, and that doesn't have a menu anymore. And, you know, mm -hmm. it since the menu doesn't do anything, I really like to see change that. One of the things that happens is for a game like this um, that's using uh, native code is that we have to turn on a lot of, uh, right. uh, of compatibility hacks, basically, uh, mm -hmm. to make sure that you know, we're, we're maintaining compatibility with older versions. Uh, but that slows performance down a little bit. It doesn't allow the garbage collection to work as efficiently as it normally would. So I definitely would like to see them making sure they're targeting the latest SDK version. Yep. All right. I think that's it. Anything you want to say on that one? I don't know. Let, I mean, I always I like love to check my favorite, the back button. Yeah. It looks like the back button back acts, button acts appropriately. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. No, that was which is good. Thanks, guys. Uh, <laughs> makes me feel like people are watching the show when that <laughs> happens. Also, uh, I will say that yeah, sound also works when I when I call this one. Can't really play with sound on because otherwise YouTube would say sorry. Um, right. So <laughs> we are uh, we are, we're playing without sound, but I can say the sound worked correctly. All right. Let's go to the next game. What do we play next? All right, hold on. We gotta, we gotta switch. Uh, slide switch. Next. Oh, look. This is going to be ten pin shuffle. shuffle. Which again okay. is is is, and is we're going to go into a landscape. Uh, sorry, portrait mode game here eventually. But let's let's talk a little bit about their feature graphic. Now, this feature graphic has ten pin shuffle appearing very right. very small. Uh, yeah. And and, and and you know honestly honestly this is one of those times where in the what you have in the game in terms of icon it's nice. But in this, it's just a very, very tiny part of the scene. Um, that being said, I love the rest of it, other than the title, which yeah. I would change up. I think I would, I would just get rid of the 10-pin shuffle, shuffleboard look, and just move those those two pieces of text out, make them larger. Right. Um, it would look much better. It's also, just from a graphic design perspective, it really does feel just squashed up there in the middle when you're on a landscape screen like 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 the like the view we provide mm -hmm. for the feature graphic. When you're looking at uh, at on, on the device itself, it's it looks okay because it's in a, it's in portrait mode and this is a forced portrait mode game. Right. Um, but you do get a very good idea of what the game is going to be. It's going to be a combination of shuffleboard and bowling, um, and also poker. Poker, yeah. Out. They've like mixed up a different lot of different genres yeah, in this. Yeah, this is like so. a total gaming mashup. Right. You know, it's which is and I you yeah. know, I first started playing and I'm like. I mean, the only thing that really kind of sucks about the game, let's, let's actually move on to the game screen here, mm -hmm. is that you can actually kick butt on the bowling and shuffleboard side. Right, but then you can still, suck in the poker and side. And still man. lose on the poker side. And, there's, and it's not like there's betting or anything like that, right. which might actually have been kind of made it, made it even more interesting. Um, so 10 Pin Poker is the only game that's actually uh, active in the... On is the in the in the free version. I haven't right. unlocked this, which I really should have done. God, you know, I'm, I'm totally yeah. denying all this income to our. Um, yeah, look at all those locks. Now uh, I'm actually curious. I was gonna actually get the premium version of this. I know, I intended to. It's been. It's okay. I'm gonna attempt to play this sideways. Right. Well, so. Yeah. Oh yeah. Actually, I no, we we can actually we'll rotate it. We'll rotate, rotate it. it. Right, here we are. Let's yep. see if we lose it. Here we are. One, two, three. All right. All right. It's much much easier to play. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I actually have it set up. I think to play with a component. Oh, I did so badly. Um, I'll, let you, <laughs> I'll let you take over. Um, so that now it's that the controls I thought were kind of interesting because there's kind of two levels of controls. So your initial ability to aim and rotate the board, you can actually move the initial position of the pot, as well as rotate. I'm ready to get my butt kicked right now. As, okay. as well as rotate the angle of the board from the start, but actually much depends on your accuracy in the target. Excellent. Excellent. Right. Right. Strike. All right. You know, That's how I want to play well. Right. Team. And uh, so. Um, but in all, in, all, in all seriousness, uh, you know, so it was a little bit confusing when I first started playing the game. Once I got into it, I realized that a lot of times how I manipulated the board and the initial settings didn't really matter all that much other than where I put the time. And, mm -hmm. uh, and making sure that I just had a very, very accurate, straight shot. 
Um, the presentation is really, really nice. I love the a uh, little reflective effect on the surface. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, it's a very nicely done texture. Right. There's a lot of really good done, s really well done sound effects as well. Yeah, that we're not hearing. Um, and it does yeah, like all the, the gestures are really great on this game. So. Absolutely, and yeah. it's really really nice. Like when you get a when you get a spare, it does it, it does things like has it has a crowd that you can hear mm -hmm. that boos when you get a split. Right. I mean, this is a really really well done game. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, again, um, this is another game that you can see the vestigial menu on the bottom of. But as far as I can tell, it handles sound correctly. This is I mean, right. Everything sounds correct. Right. Like the back button seems to work appropriately when I remembered. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, see, look, you want to you want to quit? No, I don't want to quit. Yeah, I'm doing yeah. pretty well. Why don't you hit it again? Does it? Does it? Does yeah. it? Yeah, that doesn't do anything. So that's right. that. That you know, yeah, no, that is self. It should dismiss it. If yeah. You, you know, rather than have it do, rather than have it do nothing, or you know, potentially take you back to the main mm -hmm. menu. I, I like dismissing because it's really clearly a dialogue. So that's something right. that our QA team would actually say, hey. Uh, you should make it do something because the back you should always do something. Right. And uh, so, um, but other than that, um, you know, the, the, the game the game works well. Uh, in terms of in terms of tablet presentation, it's pretty good too. I think that there might it might be that the gestures are a little bit mm -hmm. longer on tablet than they might need to be. Um, it might be might be fun to play with that. Um, mm -hmm. In terms of in terms of how 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 you move position and actually shoot, um, I'm not sure how much the developer did with that. Um, but um, I, that was my feeling is that yep. I had to, I had to gesture a little longer right. than I thought I should have to in order to actually make it go. Um, but well, it, it also, also varies, right? Because I play this on my Nexus Seven, and I, it seems to me like you know the sensitivity on that was a little bit different than what a transformer is. So I mean, if you give yeah. if you give the user some sort of way to like be like, oh, like maybe I just want to flick a little bit versus like it's like sensitivity yeah. controls a bit nice. But. Yeah, and I, th I think you know I think the way to do this you know is, is to build an initial sensitivity based upon mm -hmm. the density of the screen. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and and maybe not, in this case, not even the density of the screen, but actually based right. upon the distance that the user actually is mm -hmm. having to swipe. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so that's that's something to think about uh, in, terms of, in terms of improving it. I still thought it was pretty darn yeah, good. Yeah, it was pretty honest. good. I mean, like, once it's very high quality. To, once you got used to it and figured out, oh, what's going on? Yeah, I have no, I have no qualms recommending this game to friends. Uh, you know, it, it's fun. Uh, you know, there, there, there are a, a couple of little tiny issues in terms of presentation that could mm -hmm. be helped on the tablet. But you know, honestly, not without without being nitpicky, I would say it looks really, really solid. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah, uh, great job there on on Ten Pin Shuffle. Um, We'll go on to our next title now. Next Let's title. I know, I know. You have to end your game because you're. Yeah, actually, I know. I'm actually doing pretty, pretty well. well. This is this yeah, is like I, not normal for me. I <laughs> <laughs> actually was pretty bad at this I, game. I, I kind of <laughs> want to see what happens. So, so have you see by the way what's going on in the game is that as you as you play the game, you actually get uh, a better and better poker hand, and you get mm -hmm. the ability to swap out cards. Um, so that is so, so, you, so you can say which which mm, one you want to. I don't know. I don't want to lose my pair. You can't lose your pair. No, you have, so I would press say have to take out the nine, nine right? Yeah, the nine. I mean, that's you know, it's 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 a big. You, I, I, yeah. I haven't tried counting cards with this to see how accurate it is. I was sort of curious to see. I was like, thinking about that too, but uh, you know, I assume it's from a single deck, but you know, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll see. We're almost done with here. Mm -hmm. We got we got some time. So let's 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 finish. Let's the see. Game. Let's see how I'm gonna yeah, do. So, so all all of you <laughs> exactly. Strike. So by the way, I have never won a game of this in poker. <laughs> <laughs> even as many strikes as yes. I have, because somehow the computer has always gotten a better uh, poker yeah, hand than I, me. Yeah, I really don't get that at all. All right, yeah. so let's let's get rid of uh, the jack and the king here. Mm -hmm. Like keep our ace high, and mm -hmm. then draw. Let's go for it. Oh, uh, I should have just gotten. A, yeah, that sometimes it's, I'm just like not. Yeah, we, as I said, you don't. You, you know, it's hard. You, it's hard to tell exactly what's going on because you can't tell what the computer's doing. Yeah, I find the computer. They they they've done the computer nicely so that if you are really really sucking at the shuffleboard mm -hmm. part of the game, the computer does really really badly. So the one thing, the one thing that I kind of am a little like would not take out is if you look in the upper right corner, it does say available on the App Store, I know, and so, so and I'm default, just, this is the default ad when an ad isn't showing up. Come on, guys! Right, I don't have. One one of them devices, dude. Right. It's an Android game now. All right. So let's let's. You've got one more shot. You want to get rid of that one? And uh, it's such a tough one. I. Uh, I th now at this point you'd want to keep the thing. I, I, would, I, say, I would say. I would say go for it. Yeah, go for it again. Yeah. yeah! Full house. Oh. Look at that. This may be the All first right. game I this ever is, won. This is exciting. We <laughs> get to find out what happens when we win. You know, <laughs> the suspense. You know, how will how will. So what? One thing that is kind of frustrating is I do know also the end of the bowling game. If you, it doesn't actually, if you end up getting a strike, it doesn't right. give you extra. It does. Yeah. So I was gonna be right. really mad if I they had a better say. full house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. All right. So we finally won. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's uh. uh ooh. Nice. Ooh. 
no, no, no. Let's not. Let's not play the new opponents. Right. So I guess I guess I, you end up getting more uh, mm -hmm. more challenging opponents as well. So again, thumbs up. Clever mashup of a bunch of stuff. I, does this mashup exist? Does anyone know? I, like, I don't even know. That's the first that's time I ever saw a mashup like this. I was like poker and shuffleboard yeah, and I, bowling. I know, really? So, yeah. I, was, I, I really want to know. You know. So so so. If you do find that, another game, post a link because yeah, I'd be interested. Yeah. If you any, any viewers out there know the answer to this, you know, let us know. In the actually, in, that in would be a very interesting comments. show. We should do a mashup genre <laughs> mashup show. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right. All right, so let's go on to our next game here. Mm -hmm. So we'll I'll let you I'll let you uh, move the tablet co and I'll I'll, I'll control right. the the uh, slide deck. So our, our next game is uh, going to be Meowch. Meowch. And uh, Meowch is kind of an interesting game because I wasn't sure how I felt. <laughs> I wasn't about really this. sure. I saw the feature graphic. I'm like, what is this game? Interesting. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it is a very bold feature graphic, though. So it, give the developer, whoever designed that, much. It's definitely eye attention grabbing. Yeah, let, let's, 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 let's switch over to it here. Right. So there's. Ooh, yeah, I was like, whoa. Transition. So, yes. You can tell that Ian didn't make this deck. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, yeah, actually, this, this is a great feature graphic in terms of making sure the text is forward. It does not tell me anything about the game. Sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's a bad thing, yeah. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to. Um, one of the things that's really interesting, we had a developer who got their app featured recently, and they doubled the number of installs just by Spicy. making a more attractive feature graphic. And they actually went, and they the first original feature graphic was just a blow-up version of their logo. And they mm -hmm. ended up replacing it with this beautiful artwork and imagery. Actually, right. it's beautiful imagery in this case. Right. With with a smaller, with a slightly smaller version of their logo. That, but it just looked pro. Well, and yeah. Instant. I mean, it was the app Dwellable. So it was yes. a lot. It was a basically a vacation rental app. And originally, it was just basically this garish, bright orange background yeah. with their logo. And exactly. so, if you can imagine, you're like, what is this app? It doesn't tell me anything that it does. Yeah. But then so, they showed me this beautiful house that you that you could rent and right. along with Dwellable and. Boom! All of a sudden, it, it double installs. I was like, most installs. installs. So you know, I, so so these feature graphics really are important. Like, I, I I don't know how many more times we have to emphasize this. This is great. I I, I think that. I honestly don't know if I would represent this game any other way. Um, yeah, it's, it's it's pretty it's pretty reasonable. It is hard to go what's going on in this game, when right? You, until you play it. But luckily, play. they have like a free version for everyone to try, so it gives everyone a chance to try it. So yeah, absolutely. All right, so let's go into the actual uh, gameplay itself. We'll switch over to our gameplay slide mm -hmm. here. This uh, is another I've another had to try, I had to rotate the tablet. Now you got to rotate it, it back. Gotta rotate it back because this is it. The okay. reason I actually like leaving this in the key dock is because it makes it easy when we have to rotate. It so we don't uh, otherwise otherwise it's kind of a challenge. Uh yeah yeah so all right, all right. so I'll let, I'll let you t I didn't play this one as much as some of the other games but we'll just go know. to the first level because it's just easy yes it is <laughs> just to say what what's going on you don't you don't get the, you don't get the humans trying to grab the cat through the windows right that level. happened in the second level which was yeah. kind of crazy so basically you're essentially a cat and all you do is you I think you actually are a cat I don't I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't even think it's essential yeah um, but uh, but you're you're essentially trying to get all these I guess meow cat food and then go to the exit right it's a missing cat sign actually. right you're trying to get rid of the missing cat, cat sign, sign so that you can, um, because obviously it makes it enjoy harder. your freedom. You enjoy your freedoms. The right. goal is you're like this, this not stray cat. cat. You're a cat who's trying to be found by its owner, and you're desperately trying to avoid being found by your owner. Which is kind of weird, actually. Unless you're, unless maybe what you are is you are. No, it's a missing cat sign. So it is a missing cat sign. So, it's it's sort of, so you're like, a cat that decided to escape from its owner because you don't like cat ladies. So <laughs> that is that does seem to be actually right. exactly the case. So you're, you're owned by crazy cat. Lady. You're owned by crazy cat lady, and you're trying to escape for your freedom. And so, yeah. <laughs> so so the game does get harder in the second level, um, and there's a lot more uh, elements. You also are sort of a, a, a kind of a cat. Um, I would describe mm -hmm. you as, as being sort of. Um, Using the, you're sort of the angry cat meta, meta, uh, metaphor here, mm -hmm. uh, where you actually are kind of a giant kitty slingshot. And right. so you actually kind of pull the tail on your cat back in order to lose, launch your cat right. forward. Um, probably for, for reasons of animal abuse, they don't actually show this, which is probably <laughs> good. But it is a little, the controls are a little weird because it's not really obvious what you're doing. Like, why yeah. am I pulling back on the cat to make the yeah, cat wasn't. jump? I wasn't really sure about that. It took me a while to figure out what, uh, even like the objective too, I think a lot of it, I didn't realize, oh, I was that missing cat. So. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So um, anyways, we'll uh, just try to get out of here. Uh, I didn't do, I didn't do well this level, but at least I avoided the crazy cat right. who was trying to get me and the animal control right. officer. Um, 
But uh, but that's that's basically the game. Um, mm-hmm. I'm sure they've added more elements as you go farther into the game. Right. As I said, it didn't it didn't strike me as a game that I really had to play from an arc style perspective. Um, it's it's somewhat consistent. It's it's a little you know it does it definitely has that I drew this in Adobe Illustrator right. kind of look to it. Um, but uh, it doesn't, it, it, and it's fine. I mean, I, I think I think it's you know it, from what I from what I saw, it mm-hmm. it seems like a reasonably a reasonably clever game. Um, but you know, it, it did kind of strike right. me as sort of an odd game. And I, again, I really wanted to get and play this game deeper than I actually was able right. to. Right. Um, kind of some strange things about this game in terms of like um, the, the juxtaposition of different elements. You know, you do have the sort of the the the, the numbers have a really really different feel to the right. score and a couple of other things that might be worth playing with and to keep this. You've got this really cool hand drawn style already. Yeah. And, uh, well, I think a lot of it is just like try to educate your player on like what mm. all these different elements are, right? Like what's actually bad. Like I didn't even realize the lighted yellow windows is actually the crazy cat lady can come out. And it took me yeah. a while to be like, oh, I was not supposed to do that. Like yeah. it doesn't give you an indication of whether you f- like not like failure per se, but you did something wrong. Like I had no idea. I was like, oh, animal pest control. Oh yeah, that's actually <laughs> I don't want to get caught by that. Right. Or yeah. oh, like these antennas, like these uh, satellite dishes. Oh, I can bounce off of them. You just have no idea unless you experiment. That's also. I mean, that could be a good thing, but you want to make sure that. I mean, this is only the third or fourth level, right? So. I mean, yeah. you have to think about like your who your audience is in terms of like these types of arcade action games. You just want to make sure, hey, Boom. like, ouch, yeah. So, um, so one of the things that's that's interesting about this game um, that, that I would say is it is actually I want more frames of animation. That actually mm-hmm. was uh, especially on the cat um, because I you know there, there's some, but I think that's actually what one of the things that, that would make the game really just feel that much better is mm-hmm. when you have the cat and the cat is the main character. Just a couple of additional frames would look really, really nice. Mm-hmm. So that would, if, if there was any like little polish that would add to the game, you know, er, er, everything else is pretty much just stylistically we're talking right. about here. Now I will say, you know, one thing I'm really happy to see is this game actually is targeting a recent SDK. We don't see a vegetable menu. Mm-hmm. Um, in terms, in terms of back key support. You know, yeah. it does exactly the wrong thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> it doesn't is, bring up a menu, an you know, actual menu button. It just brings up, do you want to exit? So ex- Exactly. But so at least it's something. I mean, this is progress. I mean, before we had a lot of games that, that didn't, didn't have anything. That's right. But that game is also coming. So. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, I, I, I don't know. I wasn't sure. sure. It wasn't mm-hmm. a game that really engaged me. Like, you know, Space Out really engaged me. Ten Pin Shuffle really engaged me. Meowch. Meowch was fun. I think I would probably recommend it to someone. It seems like it was targeted at someone younger than mm-hmm. me. But at the same time, it also is seemed really really challenging like I right. kind of wondered whether an eight year old like in world one number pretty, three was it was pretty pretty hard until I figured it out so. yeah so my, so my feeling is that it's sort of this strange combination of a game that seems to be targeted to kids but seems to be right. too difficult for kids and, right and maybe maybe there is some balance that can be struck there right. all right we're but go. great art style though positive great art style like oh, yeah. I like I like the design the graphics so but definitely a lot can be improved. All right, so now we're gonna we're gonna eventually move to a landscape game. All right. right. All right, and this game is Sumiol. At least that's Sumiol. I don't Sumiol. Yeah, Sumiol. Yeah. So I wasn't quite sure how it was pronounced, but uh, now it's uh, you know I, if I, I believe Co in this case and. Uh, yeah, and this is actually kind of strange. So I see this feature graphic. I have no idea what to expect. I'm assuming the Sumiel is actually probably what those little lemming-like creatures are. Yeah, yeah. So I think so. Um, you know, again, lemmings were green hair with you know this is purple hair, so they're definitely not lemmings. Right. Um, um, and I would say there's there's a lot a lot of things about this game. Um, first of all, um, we can actually look at their feature. So the feature graphic here actually at least has the text in the right mm-hmm. proportion. Um, it's big, it's flashy, it's eye-catching. We have uh, another rounded corners icon for no apparent reason. <laughs> um, especially when you've got something that's as dynamic and catch and eye-catching as the actual Somia hair itself. It just sticks out in all directions. You know, why not make that part of your icon part of that look? You know, so I, I think I think we missed out. There's a missed opportunity yeah, here. Yeah, you can definitely do background transparent image and just stick out the hair. That's a- probably fine. Absolutely. So. so let's but let's actually look at the game itself. Mm-hmm. So um, so hopefully we actually have this. So ready. we can actually play it. We can actually play it. Now, there's some, some things you may not notice at home. Everything is really, really low res. 
Right. Okay, I mean, in this game, like, exceptionally, exceptionally low res. And it is a hand-drawn art style, but when you see hand-drawn art, it's so much nicer when you actually get to see it at, at a resolution close to what the tablet is playing on. And, you know, it just feels like, okay, this was made a long time ago. Right. Um, and it's not made a long time ago in that, oh, cool, it's retro. It's made a long time ago in... It as in someone didn't <laughs> think about as HD. As they as lived in SD land. <laughs> as, as that it was made for a device, you know, that had a much lower resolution than this. Um, and um, other, other notes, we've got lots of icons all over this screen. Um, we have individual icons for a whole bunch of things. I'm actually at least glad that it's not trying to get me to click on them. Right. Um, but you know, I always, I always feel like if you're going to do an Android game, having a standard Android share icon in addition to all those at least, if not it being the only thing mm -hmm. there, is really nice. Because right now, if I wanted to post to my Google Plus account, I can't do it. If I want to send email that contains similar information, I can't right. do it. If I wanted to share stuff, something perhaps from the web store to someone, I can't, from the, from the, yep. from the, uh, uh, Google Play Store, I can't do it. So there's a lot of things here. Um, I, if I wanted to rate the game, there might be a way to do this. I have no idea how I might do this no, from, no. Within this, from, from within the screen. Okay. There's a lot of things that are here that may or may not be useful, and yet a bunch of things that are that are definitely important, like please rate the game, is not here. So um, just just some little thoughts here. Or if it is there, I can't possibly right. tell what it is. And again, we kind of consider this. We can we go back to this very very low res mm -hmm. um, kind of hand hand drawn art style, cute. But the game is really inventive, and I think that's actually what's kind of exciting about it. Um, is um, let's go to one of the levels that's mm -hmm. um, <laughs> again. <laughs> no, and again, like yeah, it's like it's. I was like interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's 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 definitely artwork that I that feels like the stuff that I would draw um, mm -hmm. if I were drawing. I mean, it a game. could be on purpose. I just wish it was in higher definition. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, it you know, it's 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 hard to say when you're looking. Whenever you're looking at a title like this, you're like, well, was this intended? Is this supposed no, to have that feel? Yeah, I don't know. Um, some very cool things about this game. So this is actually a multi, a multiplayer, uh, uh, platform game where I've got to get these guys to safety and get them onto the rocket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Obviously, very, very straightforward to do in that level. Right. But it gets tricky because sometimes what you have to do is actually group them together. And so you can actually sometimes drop them into place and have to squash them into one into right. one level. And there are puzzles to solve where so half of them go one place and half of them go, go the, the other, other way. way. Yeah. And you get you control them all as this block. So a lot of times it's figuring out how to split them up and still control them, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. There's a lot of really interesting puzzles. Um, there's a lot to going for this game. I. You know, I, I kind of want, I, I just want a, a presentation that's just a, that says to users, like, yes, this game really had a lot of thought put into right. it. Right. Right. Uh, it's, it's probably. But the gameplay element is probably, it's very, it's very interesting. I think it's very unique. And yes. so. Yeah, um, I'd, like to, I'd like to see the game do more. Right. Um, you know, one other thing to note: this game is 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 also not only is a game targeting an ancient SDK version, but it's actually not targeting all screens. So we have the zoom controls on it, uh, mm -hmm. and you know, and uh, it might actually look better, honestly, zoomed. <laughs> Zoom in full In this screen. particular case, although mm -hmm. you know it, it's pretty much mm -hmm. going to be, it's going to look very similar. Mm -hmm. And there are a few assets here that are higher resolution than right. others, so um, you know it, that might be something worth worth noting. Um, in terms of back key support, it is Seems doing. Seems like it's doing what it's supposed what to do. What it's supposed yeah. to do. That's like this. Please rate. Oh, Whoa. exit. Be better if that was a link. Right. Maybe it is a link, and I couldn't tell. Yeah. Um, but in any case, so that's so me all. Uh, and uh, the final game that we're going to look at today is Snappy Dragons Two. Is Snappy Dragons Two, and uh, Snappy Dragons Two uh, is is a beautiful looking game. Extensive yeah. Studios did a fabulous job on it. It is again a sequel mm -hmm. um, uh, to to the to the original game, and we're once again right. playing the light version. If you nominate the light version, there's a chance that uh, that we'll play the light version. If you want us to 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 actually, you know, use the premium version. Please nominate the premium yeah. version. We'll do it. Um, uh, don't so, don't yeah. don't make your premium version like ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars. The one day we, you know, we we we, we go to yeah. play it. But you know, in all seriousness, uh, you know, we well, we don't, then we don't we probably won't review it. Probably <laughs> not. Well, I think it's actually the maximum is like ninety nine dollars right. on, on Google Play. Um, but any case, uh, but, but feature graphic wise, really cool. Um, I'm not really sure if I would have used the uh, the uh, kind of the transition between the yellow to red. It's really hard to see against a light light yeah. blue background. You can't really tell when you're on the website. But we right. have the we have the beautiful advantage that we're actually looking at the screen right now. Right. Very small screen. Like I couldn't possibly read 
the text in the review itself from where we're looking, but right. the size of the review of the of the uh, graphic that we're looking at right now is not that far off from this size on a phone or tablet. And I just it looks like I just can't see anything. Like I can't read it. So. Yeah, it looks like P drag two. I can read right. the two. So a little bit more contrast would actually help quite a bit. And this is one of those times where a really a subtle drop shadow would help a little bit more. There might be one. If there is one, it's really subtle. See right over here. No, I don't. A little one. No, maybe. Yeah, no. yeah. I mean, we, like, we can I, read it. We can read it when we're looking at a closer screen. So, right. Um, like, so the, I mean, the, really, the biggest thing is just think about, like, you know, when you think about designing your feature graphic, always think about your color schemes, what you're using, and a lot yeah. of that stuff. I mean, like, there's always this. Um, yeah. It's a lot of cool color science thing, but yeah, but the comp contours and. And the composition is great. Though. Oh yeah, I mean, the composition is great. You know, honestly, if they just switched that all to red letters, it probably would have been fine. It would have popped. It yeah. would have popped a lot more. Or orange. Like blue uh, blue and orange are like complementary. So the other, that they're gonna stand out to contrast. So the other thing is, you know, no rounded rectangle needed on this guy. Mm -hmm. You're you're kind of you're already pushing the boundaries on it. I would say just get rid of it. It looks it looks it looks mm -hmm. cool enough without it. We don't need it. And yeah, that's my that, that would be my my take on that. Okay. So let's go to the actual game itself. So the actual game itself. Oh, I wanted to show people what I didn't like about the game startup. So let's restart the game. All right, we're gonna restart the game so we so. can So Yes. Um, mostly because this is a this is a slight pet peeve of mine, but mostly. All right. If this is the first screen, so it's have so you when played I first, the game before? Have you played the game before? Yes. So like, if you look at this from first glance, think about a user. I looked at this. I was like, well, is this an ad? Am I supposed to click on something, or is this just another screen? It's actually very hard to tell. And it wasn't until I started touching a screen that I realized, oh, I was supposed to touch it. <laughs> yeah. In order to start the game. That, that's a really, really good point. And I, I think it's one of those things where, as an interstitial, where it's really clear that it's an interstitial. This right. is cool, but it's the very first screen you see in the game. Right. It's a little bit. I would bit just have rather it had gone to this screen, but you know, that's just my. My slate. <laughs> Absolutely. My no, I think, so. that's, I think that's a really good point. Uh, and again, beautiful it's composition beautiful here screen, like. on, on the title screen. Mm -hmm. Like this is, this is nice. Again, I'd like to see a standard Android share icon next to other things or in place of other things. I, I really, you know, people should be allowed to share on whatever social network there are, they right. are, you know, using. And this, again, you know, there are places in the world in which actually Facebook is not the most popular social network and neither, and Twitter, people don't even know about it. So make sure that users that are in Korea, for example. Korea, for example. Okay, yes. They can use um, their social network There are other such social networks out there. They're probably a lot more beneficial. <laughs> so. so, yeah. So, you know, just again, I, using the Android standard share icon allows someone to use what they have installed. If you want to include things next to it, that's great. Um, but I really, I really like seeing at least that there. But let's play this. So this is actually was very interesting because it was one of those things where... Um, it's a beautifully, beautifully drawn game. So we're going to try a harder level because it's just more fun to sing. So you're essentially controlling a dragon. And your objective is, is to throw, breathe fireballs and fiery fury against <laughs> all of your opponents. And right now, it's these little wizards, and they're keeping your baby dragons captive. Oh, I thought they were gnomes. Maybe they are wizards. Um, in any case, the, so the thing about so the thing the the animation is actually really really well done mm -hmm. on the dragon. Um, it really it feels almost like cartoon animation, which is great. Um, I would say the only sad thing for me about this one was that the destruction of the buildings, the buildings. was so boring. Like yeah. they're you know they're not buildings. It's they don't like behave. worms from old school. Worms, yeah, it, right? it, is, like, it is basically it is exactly like the, what you get in worms. You know, you, and you don't get things that are falling any reasonable way. You don't get any kind of destruction. It was kind of sad because everything is so beautifully done. Yeah. Other than that, um, that it was sort of it was sort of sad. It doesn't mean the game isn't fun. The game is still fun. It's still beautiful. It's just that I was hoping that I was going to get this cool mm -hmm. physics game, and what I actually got yeah, was sort of a, was a very very old school old school kind of game. And mm -hmm. uh, you know when it came to the gameplay itself, it doesn't mean it's not fun. You know, right. And, and you know, let me say that, but I just wanted to see it taken to the next level, especially knowing this was a sequel. That mm -hmm. being said, the artwork is beautiful. The game really is fun. It's got it's a well lot of animated. great elements. It's very well animated. So um, well thought levels. Yeah. I mean, it, I thought it overall it was a good job. I think out of the set right now, this may be in terms of probably execution, probably the best one. Just it's, kind of wish that the... It is It is the most polished of the definitely games. Definitely the most polished. In terms so. of the art style, the look and feel, all really, really blends together well. All of the elements are really well thought mm -hmm. out. 
Um, you know, I, as far as the, as far as the most fun games to play, honestly, both of the two first games were really fun. My favorite game was probably actually the was probably Ten Pin Shuffle was actually pretty fun. Ten Pin Shuffle mm. was really fun, and I liked I liked the the weird you know gravity breakout game. You know, oh I yeah, thought that yeah, was, yeah. I thought that Space that was, was pretty. Space that cool was actually yeah, yeah. you know actually had. I just a lot wish of it was a different forward. color scheme. It was very dark. It was very dark. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that was. I'm a very cool. visual person. So yes. If you want to if you want to <laughs> impress me, <laughs> it's all about the visual. So you know, and and I did want to mention this is the first time I've ever actually done one of these shows without a hat. So you know, this is this is this Cheers, is dude. not only I know not only are we in the beautiful building forty four arcade, or mm -hmm. at least we're in front of the building for forty four right. arcade, um, but um, we also have uh, you know this this is setting setting mm -hmm. a new uh, new trend here. Um, but yeah, in all in all seriousness, uh, you know this game this game really has a mm -hmm. lot going for it. I just kind of want to see the developer take it to the next level yeah. um, because I think it could be better. Yeah, um, I just kind of wish, like you know, when you blow up the buildings, like all those <laughs> bricks and all that would fall apart and all that stuff. But I guess like that kind of yeah. would affect the level of design because you can't yes. hit the dragons, baby dragons, again after yes. you destroy it. So it's like it's a little thing. But overall, good job. Yes, and uh, one one other thing I would I mean this is you know when you look at a presentation like this you know you put this in front of you know marketing and merchandising people and they're not going to have any trouble featuring this in mm -hmm. terms of the look and feel they're going to say oh yes this is the kind of professionalism that people expect when they click on the featured graphic mm -hmm. within Google Play so I think the one thing I think this is the one game that did not have a back button thing so if you do press the back button oh but in the beginning maybe it was like Maybe it wasn't this one. It may have not been this one. There was a game where it was in mid-play when if you hit the back button. It may have been this one, actually, in mid-play. Uh, not this one. No, there was there was, there was there definitely was, another, there was another game with a weird of. back button. Yeah, this one this one this so. one handles it pretty well. Yeah. Right, there we go. Weather We're weather widget. So you know you know so one of the things that we uh, like talking about occasionally here on the show, and I'm I'm going to going to move us back to our kind of correspondent slide here on on mm -hmm. the Friday review, um, is is a uh, kind of uh, the kind of the games we're playing now, and one of the ones that that Co brought to my attention um, is that we have you know the the largest game ever on on. In terms of asset files. In terms of so, asset files. What, so the reason why I was excited about this game, it's called The Bard's Tale. It's from Inzile Entertainment. And for all of you that um, follow the video game news and you game your nerds out there, yeah. Inzile Entertainment was founded by Brian Fargo. He's founder actually of Interplay. He founder was, of Interplay, yeah. who founded the Wasteland series. And so he successfully did Wasteland 2, kickstarted Wasteland 2, which probably brought in what? Multi millions of I, dollars I, worth it was, of stuff. It, it was certainly one of so the most successful of it all was, time. It was. Pretty big amount of money for a crowdfunding campaign. Absolutely. So he actually did. Um, um, this was originally. I think it was originally on iOS. It is now ported to Android, and it was recently. I think it was originally on, like, on Xbox or, or Xbox. Like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like, it was going... back in like 2004. It was yeah. originally, and then they decided to move to mobile. Um, I think it first was on a different. He, finally, it's now on Android, and so now yeah. it's mobile. And so I was like, cool. I get to play this wherever I want, whatever. So. I was on my Nexus 7, and it was probably the best choice, to be honest, because mm -hmm. I can definitely tell it was made for the Nexus 7 tablet. But the total download asset file size was... Monstrous, almost four gigabytes, three like and a half. Three point six, three point seven gigs. Yeah. So you definitely need Wi-Fi. <laughs> you definitely know? need Wi-Fi, and, and if you have an if you have an eight gig Nexus Seven, right. it's pretty much the only thing that's going to be on your Nexus Seven. But that might but be okay. It actually, it's okay because it's probably one I don't have. I don't keep that many games that are on my tablet or are still on my tablet. That is probably one of the few games that will. Be still on my Nexus Seven. Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, absolutely. But you know, uh, hats off to developers for, for being for, mm -hmm. for bringing such an ambitious game uh, over uh, in its complete in its completeness. Mm -hmm. I would say that you know the thing with the Bar's Tale is interesting right. is it relies so much on the musical element of the game right. that it's hard music, to bring audio. It's hard to bring the game over without having that in there. But the music is enormous. There's just an enormous amount of audio in this mm -hmm. game. Uh, and you know, so uh, you know, if if there was a way to bring over this game, this particular game, without without having to have the audio, it might be mm -hmm. it might actually allow for some more casual gamers to actually get into the game. The problem is that it's you know it's just the audio really does provide some of the absolute best uh, you know uh, uh, experience within the right. game. Like a lot of the you can, you can just go I mean some of the jokes. I mean you can tell like this is a very well scripted. I mean this is like, this is an adult game. This too. is let's, definitely let's an make, adult game. Make this very very clear. The humor you, is pretty funny. It's um, body. I mean, <laughs> if you've been to Renaissance Fair, you pretty right. much you pretty much know what this game is going to be like. <laughs> in fact, I, I heard when I went listened to the first song of the game, like I know that I've heard that song oh. at Renaissance Fair. Right. Um, so uh, you know it definitely has that element in it. But yeah, if you, you know if you've got small children, this is probably not the game to you, hand, you don't want to share your tablet if 
what your small children y if with, you have this if, if game, game on your yeah. thing. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a game for you and your in your you know teenage mm -hmm. you know friends to play and or and or not adults. You know, it's right. it's definitely got that level of humor mm -hmm. in it. Um, but uh, it's very fun. It's very very well done, and they did a beautiful job on on the Tegra version for uh, Nexus. Yeah, 7, so. no, it looks beautiful. So well, we take a, just to switch over to the take tablet. Switch. Really, really. I briefly. mean, we're only playing this on the Transformer, and if this is what it looks like on the Transformer, you can imagine. And actually, there's two different versions. Um, it does. I mean, the basically the basic, the uh, actual file, standard file is about 1.6 no. gigs. But if you do have a Nexus 7 or any Tegra 3, Optim a Tegra 3 tablet or an NVIDIA tablet, mm -hmm. then you will be given the option to download the this, bigger I, I just, version. I thought this song was just so appropriate for <laughs> our, our Friday review here. Right. Um, <laughs> and yeah, you can actually hear this song basically sung in its entirety at Renaissance Fair. So, um, uh, but in, but in all seriousness, um, that's actually so. The Transformer Prime has the same GPU mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know same, similar kind of uh, uh, capabilities to what we have in the Nexus Seven. All oh, right, that's um, right. But it's another Nvidia tablet. Yeah, so this this that. does have like the truly awesome, right. uh, awesome, massive mega download <laughs> that they made available for 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 uh, for the uh, Nvidia chips, and mm -hmm. it really does look good as you can see. Mm -hmm. It's just it's it's really really great to get to see it. So I thought I mentioned because sometimes we don't talk about what we're playing. Right. And and it's nice to say by the way, in addition to all these other games. That we're playing. We're also spending time doing this. So, right. Um, so you can tell. Yes, my <laughs> range of games that I like are pretty far, <laughs> pretty extreme. Absolutely. Like. Well, that's why it's great to have Co here on the show. <laughs> <is> because, because <laughs> pretty, pretty much, you know, there, 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 are, there are games. Hey, that I like my match three games. Going <laughs> I, I like match three right. games. Absolutely. So. Um, yeah, that's that's why that, that's why it's good to kind of mix things up here on the mm -hmm. Friday review. Get lots and lots of different ideas, and also kind of out, kind of find out you know what people are playing. So yes, tell us what you're playing. Make sure to go to the moderator page, uh, nominate your favorite games, nominate games that you've written, uh, nominate you know. Not many games that you think we should know about and like talk yeah. about. So. Even if, if a game if a game is awesome, but something about it just drives you nuts, mm -hmm. let us know because yeah. we we, we want to make games better on Android. Right. That's that's our that's our goal here. And it's we okay if they're in another language. Yes. I can actually speak and read Korean. So a absolutely, <laughs> and and I can watch her speak and read <laughs> Korean. So it, it all works out. So um, so I think we're gonna have a night a short show here today on the Friday review. So if there's anything else, is there anything from the live stream that we should know about? Is there anyone on the live stream? <laughs> There's tons of people in the live stream, but the, I think you answered the uh, the biggest question, which was, where is your hat? So I think we'll leave <laughs> where it. Is <laughs> where is my hat? <laughs> <laughs> like Now everyone knows why Dan wears a hat. But we do have Halloween coming up. We, we, should do. Do so, we should do a show about zombies or we, witches. We, we need, or you know, yeah, so, you know, so if you see right. some great Halloween-themed games out there, let's start getting them you know, nominated. If we see enough of them, we'll do a Halloween-themed show. And we'll actually dress up. So. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what, mm -hmm. would, what would you dress up as, though? I don't know. That's a secret. Maybe <laughs> okay. I'll leave that to the moderator for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. We yeah. actually do a Halloween. That's Maybe right. that's a bad idea. But that's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Co, you dress up however you like. And, <laughs> uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll see with, with some anticipation mm -hmm. here. You know, set, set some uh, you know, suspense about what, what Co mm -hmm. might actually dress up as for <laughs> future episodes. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> All right. So that's, that's it from us at the Friday Review. Thank you, of course, once again to Daniel Pham for being our engineer today and yeah. making sure everything was running smoothly. Um, he also corralled us and made sure the show happened today, right, so, right. which is always good. And of course, uh, cheers. cheers. Happy Friday, everyone. Happy Friday.